guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you're new here though, what is up? As you can tell by the title already, I'm finally gonna show you guys my like everyday kind of like go with me everything type planner. I'm kind of late with showing this, I know. And it's still got like stuff from my setup from like Christmas because usually I like to keep my Christmas stuff, especially in my planner, a little bit into January. And I know we're in February now, so this is super late, but I just like was super busy and I just really, really liked this setup and I actually set it up pretty late in December anyway so I was trying to like really enjoy it and try to perfect it as much as I possibly could before I showed you guys it but now I'm gonna be changing it over to February's everything set up and like very Valentine's Day e so I'm super excited but I want to still share with you guys the setup that I had in here for like the holidays and January because it's just so pretty I love it this is in my print pression it's the a6 size I did show this in a haul already um, I got a ton of different covers from print pression when they were like on clearance and everything Thing. I love this one. It's in the color sea mist. This was the color that I really 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 wanted and now I love the a6 size I'm just obsessed with it. So I didn't have anything for a6 until like recently I'm just so obsessed with it now I think this is like my go-to travel size for my planner. This does have information You know about like my overall schedule This is basically if I were to go anywhere at all Basically that wasn't like a quick errand run This would be going with me because it has like all of my everything information. Also, I know my nails are always like this I tried my best to get the nail polish off. I, I tried for you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, so that's all the information that's in here. Basically, my life is in this, but it goes with me. It's got basically suit. I don't know. It just has a ton of information here. It's not my everyday everything catch-all planner that stays home, which is my recollections planner, which I showed you guys. It's completely separate. The information that I put in here is a lot more brief, especially in terms of like my finances and stuff, since it is like going with me places. I don't really need that information. I mainly just need like like schedule information and um, like personal information like doctor stuff <laughs> we'll get into it so I want to share with you guys this setup I'm gonna try to be kind of quick about it just so that this video isn't too too long and because also I want to share with you guys kind of some of the things that I keep with me to travel with the planner as well to kind of go with it I will try to include everything in the description box below for the most part I think all of my basically all of my inserts are from peanuts planner co or cloth and paper or Elmon paper co or um, infinite lotus I have tons of freebies in here too so I will try my best to make sure that I get everything linked down below for you guys. You guys do know that though that I do also DIY a lot of stuff so I will mention it if it's something that I DIY'd but if I DIY'd it it's probably DIY'd with supplies that I've shown before in a haul um, so it's probably from a craft store like you know just Michaels or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like Amazon which I've linked it before probably and especially if it's from Amazon my storefront my Amazon storefront is always in my description box. Let's just get on into it. I'm gonna start with the stuff that travels along with me So I'm gonna move the planner kind of out of the way just for a second So I just keep everything together my planner and my like extra inserts I just keep in this larger print pression bag I have a ton of these now since I've gotten so many covers from print pression Everything fits though perfectly kind of in this little bag, which I like I like to take extra inserts with me just in case You know, I want to change something I make a mistake or if I want to pre-plan anything or if I'm changing over over my entire plan or you know for like the next month if I'm not at home anything like that so I just keep extra um, inserts that I might need to change out so like weeklies any type of trackers important dates just like notes ones just anything that I think I might want to be using and I just keep them in this little pouch from the Dollar Tree actually I got these forever ago they came in like three different colors I'm not sure if they still have this exact one but they usually always have these like type of pouches that usually come with like cards on the inside but they're perfect size for especially a6 or pocket size if you want to put extra printed out inserts in it I just I love it and it fits a good amount of them in here I just keep them in here keeps them protected so that they don't get wet they don't get bent up and damaged and then I can just take them out as I need it if I go to update my planner and then like I said it still fits perfectly inside of this like larger a6 size print pression and it just tucks in there right behind my planner in this little pouch really quickly the pens that I keep with me I've shown this before I'm pretty like a while ago. There's a little Kipling pencil bag. I love it. It matches a little mini book bag that I have as well. I actually got it from my mom. Still have the little monkey guy attached. Super cute. It's like a really nice metallic -y gold. I just... I love it. 
I don't have too many things in here right now and it's kind of a mess because I have been kind of going in it a little bit. So let me see what I have. So first thing is just a little whiteout from Dollar Tree actually and I really like this. It's not the best like whiteout but I really like it because it has a cover on it. I do want to see if maybe the cover fits on different brands but most whiteouts don't have a little cover. It's really weird and then it gets damaged if you have it in like a pencil bag or anything. So love that this one has a little cover on it. I have just a little fold up ruler only because I don't have a ruler in my planner. So yeah, it's just there just in case kind of. I have a mechanical pencil. This is one I've shown in a haul. All this stuff I've shown in a haul so I don't want to keep saying that. Uh, it's just the Zebra Delgard. It's a 0 0.5 just in case I need a pencil. This little card that I'm moving. It was a like a nail, a travel nail kit from Dollar Tree but usually I keep my craft scissors in here but I actually just got new craft scissors so I'm not sure and like everything always falls out of this so I need to come up with a better system in here. I think there's another pair of tweezers yeah and I keep tweezers just in case I need that with like stickers on the go. I like to cut slits in my inserts so I always like to keep some scissors with me. So I have a handful of my Zebra Sarasa. Zebra is like my favorite brand of pens honestly. But so I have these from this collection. I don't remember which collection this was exactly but I like that they're kind of like the darker tones. I just have the darker green, the dark purple, and like the red. It's like a more darker, deepy, deepy, <laughs> sultry red kind Kind of. I have this one in here just because the color scheme of the overall setup is more blue since it was like wintery themed. So I just have this bright blue one in there. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Some more pens. I don't really know why I have two of the same ones in here, so I can take one out, obviously. It's the Uniball Signos, the Ultra Micro in 307. Since my inserts are a little bit smaller, I like having the Ultra Micro with me. The pen that I've really been loving so much lately is the Zebra Sarasa Dries, the Air fit grip in 0.4 from cloth and paper we love that one I have just a few Tombos that I was using to match the scheme as well. So, but so I have a light pink. It's like a super subtle pink in the color 800. And then I have a couple of different gray and kind of like a bluish or like a periwinkle tone. Darker gray is the N75. The lighter one I have is N95. And then this like periwinkle blue color is 09N. So that's what's all in my pencil case. So now let's move on into the planner flip, which I know you guys all want to see. <laughs> I love this so much. So here's what it looks like. It is the A6 size and with the print pression one, the A6 ones are better for top and bottom tabs, but I just love my side tabs. I just can't get out of the habit of using side tabs. I don't mind that mine hang out a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if you can kind of see it's probably out of focus to show the top and the bottom at least like this. And I do keep an extra pen in here just in case as well so I don't always have to reach into my pencil case. This is one that I got for on super clearance from Walgreens. Uh, it's the Zebra Sarasa, I think. I don't remember exactly which one this is now. I think it was like Lux or something. But it's just black. It's kind of jelly. It's like a thicker pen than the other ones that I have in the bag. But I love how it writes. And it kind of matches the color scheme with the little blue and white. But I'm going to be changing this one out. So I'm going to take it out for now. But I love how it just fit perfectly. There's no pen loop in this planner. This one specifically. So it literally, I would just slide it like in between my tabs and in between the... Oh my gosh, what is this called? <laughs> The closure and so we can open this guy up I did already go ahead and kind of cover up some of my like more personal information as well um, so if you see kind of like sticky notes here and there and I'll kind of like go over it too once we get some but you'll see it they stand out just to cover some of my information so that I can kind of keep flipping through this pretty quickly not have to worry about anything and I'm sorry if there's kind of a glare I know there is a bit of a glare from a lot of the um, like plastic <laughs> acetate that I have in here so I will try my best to lift it up so we can miss the that glare for you guys. If I missed anything or if you guys have any questions, I will try my best to include everything in the description box below. And I am going to kind of be taking it apart as I go because my next video is going to be my updated, like I'm changing everything out for my new planner flip. So I might take things out as I move along. So in here I just have, I actually had DIY'd this with just some glitter. So it's just laminate sheet. So if you see this like red and green, like the holiday speckled and it's right here too, that's a DIY. Um, just glitter, laminate Laminated. This is actually um, the Cricut sheets from AC Moore or Joann's cut down to size just for a little bit of decoration there And then in here I just have a little doily it got kind of bent up I usually get these from like Dollar Tree for only a dollar and then over here I actually have this flyleaf that just has a it's actually got a bottom tab and I did DIY this one myself There's gonna be a bit of a glare. I know 
So it's literally just a thick piece of acetate. It's got a little bottom tab, so it's easy for me to flip. And I DIY this with a Foxy Fix um, little pocket. And this is just my first one of my task cards that I DIY'd myself, um, obviously based off of Maddie Plans' ID and everything. And I just keep it in place with a little Ollie clip because otherwise they fall out pretty easily. So there is that first thing there. And this is just a little DIY piece of acetate, just really thin acetate acetate from Amazon and with some stickers I think I got from the Dollar Tree. Here is some more of that. Literally it's like the five mil laminate sheets and just put glitter in there. I made it have a top tab which you might not really be able to see but it does have a top tab. And then I think this was a part of a freebie. It's literally just a vellum that I had gotten from uh, Joann's or AC Moore. I think it was AC Moore. I don't remember where this came from. I think it might have been in no, Elmont Paper Co. I, oh, I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong, but it's just 2021 printed on vellum. This one is just a freebie from Courtney Taylor Plans. You guys have probably seen this a lot in other people's planners. Um, and I just printed it double sided and cut it down to size. Um, I actually have just a Foxy Fix top loading clear dashboard right here, just in case I had something to add there. I do have a few different Foxy Fix pockets throughout in here, and I think they're all empty for the most part right now. I kind of put them in there just in case. I found something to put them in here. I just want to have some. <laughs> so then this was um, the word of the year printable. Oh my goodness. Like I said, if I can't remember where something is from, it'll be in the description box below. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Just the word of the year. It's a fillable um, printable from Etsy, I'm pretty sure. And my word of the year is just progress or progress. I don't like how I colored that one in, <laughs> but I didn't feel like reprinting it. And I didn't print it double-sided because I just really wanted to get it in here. And this is another part of the freebie, the same 2021 freebie freebie. Oh, it's from Elmont Paper Co. It's down right here. I don't really like where I put this one because as you can see, it does not sit well on top of the year at a glance. It's just, I put it there just for now. And then I have this little bundle. It's from the Infinite Lotus. I showed this in a haul before. I haven't really marked this, these pages up yet because I want to do this haul first. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use these pages as like goals and everything. Yeah. <laughs> 2021 vision. And then it's got like review for each quarter, which I do really like. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep this at the front when I update my planner for next month, but we'll see about that. Um, and then this is some more of that Cricut acetate. <laughs> Cricut? Yeah, Cricut paper from Joann's. I'm pretty sure. Just cut down to size. Um, should be a piece of acetate. And then this is the monthly calendar from Elmont Paper Co. And then I printed it, like the dashboard cover for the monthly calendar. And I just printed a freebie from Maria Plans on the back of it. And then as we can see, it just goes into my month at a glance. But this technically I should have paper clipped it. I just didn't have any paper clips with me at the time so that I didn't have to see December. And then I DIY'd. It's literally just a thick piece of acetate. No tab or anything, just acetate cover. And one of these Avery label tabs that just says January on there. I used it for December as well. And I'm pretty sure these little sticker, the month stickers are Happy Planner stickers. And then, so we just have my monthly overview. This is definitely a, like, uh, what's it called? <laughs> a fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. So it's just January. Not that much happened. And then I just have a little paper clip to keep the pages together so you're not seeing the other month. And then it just goes into my weekly schedule. But I think technically this should be like that since that's the old week. Um, some more Peanuts Planner Co. And then I just DIY'd this little acetate. It's a thinner piece of acetate as well from Amazon. And I just used my label maker for my top tabs there. It's really thin. Just to kind of mark it off, and I liked it clear so that I could still see my whole week at a glance. And then I just kind of put these in here. Obviously, I haven't filled it out yet. <laughs> I didn't print out yet. I still have to print out a few more inserts, and I actually did just purchase some more from Peanuts Planner Co. that I need to print out. But I want to have some dailies here. So I just DIY'd a vellum, just cut it down to size, and included a little top tab to it. And I had a Today sticker. Actually, I think I made that with my label maker as well just to kind of be a division for my dailies technically you only really need to see one day at a time so that's why I put the vellum so it's kind of blocking the other day the next day but not too bad so you can still see what's there that's why I didn't want to do like a total clear one so I should have daily dailies <laughs> and then it's going to go into my work section so technically it's still my schedule section which is why I just did a bottom tab this is another one of those Avery glitter tabs love it so much labeled it with my label maker it's another piece of that Cricut acetate this is another freebie. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember where it's from. 
But it'll be down there. Oh, I think it's just another Courtney Taylor plans, I think. But so I printed it double sided just to have the inbox down the side. Um, this is actually just those moon. Oh, not moon. I don't know why I have two here. I think I didn't realize I had two. <laughs> so it's actually just a marble vellum circle vellum sticky note from Amazon and this is just a circle one from cloth and paper and then I have just this little another one of like a little fly leaf pages it's the thicker acetate um, I put a little pocket that I think I'd gotten a while ago from Michaels and I have this little another one of my task cards in it but I didn't finish making this one and I hate it right here because it would always fall out so in my new setup I DIY new ones but this was a DIY little pocket holder it just doesn't these little guys don't don't hold on to these cards well unless you like have it held on with like a paper clip so I just had a little note <laughs> of stuff to add in again this is my work section this is just a freebie from Maria plans it just says schedule so it just goes in to like my work schedule this is just the thinner acetate with just a happy planner sticker on it just to give it a little something extra I guess um it's peanuts planner co yearly overview I think I need to reprint these out though actually if this is even the correct one for this year but yeah this is just to keep track of the days that I have scheduled and then this is another one of the peanuts planner co uh, fold out year at a glance I like this one I have this one in my work section as well just to keep track of like any maybe like days that I call out or if I'm sick I can update it here so I have my actual scheduled days versus actual days worked here just to make sure everything is matching up and I think I do need to reprint this out if that's for 2021 because there was an error so I didn't do that yet and then this little section here kind of looks crazy especially from that angle another piece of the Cricut acetate this is just some scrapbook paper from Michael's cut down to size just to be a little dashboard this is just my little cal calendar <laughs> camera paper clip that my mom made for me I love these little camera paper clips because we are into my social section I have some side tabs <laughs> to label thing but this is kind of no it's separate I don't know I'm really weird about how I go back and forth with where my tabs are it makes sense in my head but we're now in the socials section so we open to here got the month at a glance calendar which is actually from Elmon paper co and these were a printable so it's like a blank undated printable and you can just fill it in yourself I didn't want to have it filled out before I changed into my February also because I want to show you guys and I didn't want to like spoil anything give anything away I just DIY this little divider tab and just labeled it with a label maker with vellum obviously just the other side of the month at a glance I messed up printing the other side which sucks and then it's gonna go into just kind of I guess the week at a glance the week overview in terms of my social media stuff so like my YouTube videos my Instagram because I need to get better at doing all of that stuff um, I do want these to be paper clipped together I just again none of the pages that should be paper clipped together were paper clipped together <laughs> but I'm gonna do that for next setup um, this was a freebie from plans with B or planner with B I thought this was cute it's just the times to post with um, the different social medias it's blank on the back again it should be like <laughs> attached to something I, I don't know what was happening here um so I don't have this section fully sectioned off the way that I want it um but it goes into my video log and I did this twice not realizing it so this is just where I'm keeping track of my film edit upload I think I actually need to get a different one of these it's peanuts planner co but it was actually a different one so I had to relabel it but yeah and see like I did it twice by accident because <laughs> it's actually this is actually a mood the mood log but I think she has like a listed checkbox one that's blank so I wouldn't have to like white it out and do all that um I have this one in here as well just to keep track of something I don't know with my social media I just like the layout so I included it here <laughs> I guess I had an idea for it I don't know why I didn't add a sticky note but it's just the visits and events I think this was from like a holiday bundle from peanuts planner co and I wanted this to be in here somewhere <laughs> but it should be on something like blank so that we can actually read it I just DIY'd this more acetate with a happy planner sticker some more of the Cricut acetate this is another one of the freebie from I think is it Courtney Courtney Taylor plants I just kind of like how it looks layered like that if it'll miss the glare it probably won't but it's just the minimal freebie and then just the little Harry Potter golden snitch <laughs> freebie on the back so I just printed it double-sided and then it goes into my inbox section my inbox section is not organized at all it's like all over the place and I have a couple different versions of it throughout this planner it's a mess I need to fix it but I want to cover this kind of um list because it's got some kind of like more personal stuff so I just covered 
it up. This is just a page flag from Cloth and Paper, and I use an icon from Honey Inked. I got that idea from Amanda Plans, of course. I just thought it was so cute how she did that in her planner. <laughs> I had to do it in mine. <laughs> I have another running inbox <laughs> categorized. Like I said, I think I need to reprint the actual version of what I'm trying to go for from Peanuts Planner Co. because this is the dinner guest insert from, I guess, that bundle. I think it's the holiday bundle. And then it goes into my to-do section. So now we're into like the side tabs right here. So into my to-do section and I DIY'd all of my tabs as you can see. So I DIY'd my little side tabs with just a thicker, the thicker acetate. I don't really like how this looks right here. I think when I update, I'll do a circle one if I have anything right there at all, like a sticky note, but cloth and paper. I don't know which color that is. And then this is another freebie just um, from Courtney Taylor Plans and printed it double-sided. These are just some more inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. that I have thrown in here just in case. I haven't filled them out yet because I was filming this video and because I haven't really decided yet. I think this was actually the important dates insert, but she does have an insert like this and I do have it downloaded. I just didn't have it printed out. I think it's from her Facebook freebie, possibly. I could be lying, but these are Peanuts Planner Co. Again, <laughs> this is another technically inbox running list to do's in my to-do section. It's wild. Just random things I need to do. I don't know how this happened, okay? <laughs> I don't even know which insert this is the cards to send from the holiday bundle. And I think this is the same one. I, I I don't know. We've got another one of these Foxy Fix top loading dashboards here with obviously nothing in it yet. And I don't know why I thought right there was a good idea. This one I actually cut slits into though so that I could easily move it around. So I guess I wanted it some type of division between my to-do sections. <laughs> yeah, this was the important date. So I guess I thought I needed another list thing there. Cool. Then it goes into my to buy section. As we can see from my little tab over here, it's just my little to buy section. Divider tabs I just labeled with my label maker. Super tiny, extra small size. <laughs> I don't like this one right here. I didn't add anything in as like a dashboard really. So I don't really like how it goes straight into the list and there's no separation, but I'll update that later. Also my to buy section is no rhyme or reason. Everything is just kind of thrown in here. Um, but I did section off a few things and I don't even know how my my brain process that but these silver <laughs> tabs are just some more Avery tabs. Uh, I've got groceries, I'm on keto so I was writing out like typical foods that I would get on my keto diet for groceries just in case I ever kind of forget. I don't know, I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> and then it goes into my shopping list and again it's kind of all over the place. I'm just gonna be totally honest with you, this is not organized the best yet. <laughs> these are actually the shopping Black Friday list from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just have it sectioned off by store as you can see and then just the things that I was looking for from each store. Um, some more of the um, just laminate sheets for Christmas and it's actually got a top tab on there but this was just to kind of section it off but as you can see I don't know what section technically I was separating it to I have no clue <laughs> I think that was more stuff online like online stuff to look for and then like in-store shopping is what these were going into I'm pretty sure because this is like Dollar Tree didn't finish that planner stuff we got a great list happening here. But I wanted to try to check this off because this is stuff that like I show in hauls as well. Um, it goes into just random wants. Um, so I just sectioned it off. I don't know. Oh, I think this was a gift list from the holiday bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. And so these were just like random makeup, beauty products that I wanted to get, but it wasn't like a necessity and some more on the back. Yeah, so it's the gift list. And I think this was stuff that I wanted to look for like pre-loved um, from different sites, just any site. And so then I was gonna mark off where the store that I would be looking for that item from. This is another gift list. I think it's supposed to be like person specific for this insert, but I just like the layout of this a lot to keep in my to buy section. But obviously I didn't really find anything to use these exact ones for. That's why I started blinking them out. I love her insert. She does such a good job, Penis Planner Co. Some more of the, oh my gosh, what's it even called? <laughs> some more of the laminate sheet. Um, some of them do have little quotes on them. It just says, hello holidays, and that's actually a happy planner sticker, and there's a few hearts in there just to match it. Again, it does have a top tab to it. Those will be coming out because it was for Christmas. I need to label them, because like I said, they were inserts for Black Friday, and technically that's not what they're for anymore. No, and it goes back into like in-store shopping, so now I've got Walmart and Target. I don't, they're not organized right. <laughs> Michael's Hobby Lobby. And then it goes back into online shops, but it's like online shops specifically for planner 
stuff. Planner is still a mess, honestly, but this is what I was living with for like two and a half months. <laughs> More Peanuts Planner Co. I have stuff that I need to write in and check off for impression. And then this was the actual gift list. I did want to include it because I actually loved using these for the holidays. And I had this sectioned off with another one of the Avery tabs, but these were actual gifts and like money amounts on that side. But this is the completed side. <laughs> the like, there's not too many completed inserts in here because I took a lot of them out because they're full, you guys like full and so it had like personal information so I wanted to keep this one in so that you guys could see I how I fill it out my handwriting is not the best <laughs> I think this is maybe the last of at least the tabbed laminate sheet just to kind of section off a little bit in the to buy section again this one says holiday shopping I thought that was cute some more just happy planner stickers on there you guys know I do a lot of like thrifting thrifting online thrifting from Poshmark and Depop a lot so I like to kind of keep track of like any offers that I'm sending out or that have been sent to me for items that I'm looking for and if I have any questions about items before I send an offer or decide to purchase. So I like to keep track of that because a lot of times I'll find similar items in maybe different colors or different sizes and I want to make sure I'm not buying the same things over and over and over again because it's pretty easy to like lose track on those apps. Yeah, so I just kind of keep track of that. Here you can see better kind of how I have it laid out. Um, and then it goes into kind of my wish list and they're labeled still Peanuts Planner Co. inserts. Wanted to kind of keep these private a little bit. Um, but these are for like pricier items. So like if it's electronics, I think mainly it's just electronics on here uh, for pricey stuff. And then my designer wish list. <laughs> Something got checked off. It's, it's cute. <laughs> so now it goes into my money section, which is just my finances. I don't know why I like labeling it as money. Um, super small on there. Again, my DIY tab. This one, I love glitter paper. It was just glitter paper from a book from Michaels and it was just green glitter, but like the greenness of it, I just thought it looked so nice with the Seamist planner because not, it wasn't too Christmas green. <sighs> just perfect. I might use this one again actually for March, St. Patrick's Day. Not gonna lie. On the back, I just had a circle sticking out from cloth and paper. I want to make sure I take that off. And I just used some stickers from the Happy Planner sticker books because you guys don't have a million of them. And that was just a little note. I got to make sure I take this off. So maybe I should do that now. I don't want to leave that there. We're going to take them off. <laughs> um, and then it just goes into, obviously we're in the money section or the finance section. So these were my online orders. I already had to take out two pages of these exact inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm pretty sure these are. Yeah. <laughs> and so this was one that I started for, I just wanted to take out the other ones because it was embarrassing, honestly. And then I wanted to start new for February, so I just didn't update it yet. So that's like orders and money spent, and then it goes into my actual finances of keeping track of my budget. But this is just a freebie from Maria Plans. Again, she says finances on there. I think these are super cute. I just printed it double-sided. Obviously didn't fill these out. I did a great job in my finances section in here. <laughs> so I wanted to keep track of my budget uh, for Christmas spending. Clearly didn't write it on here, but I was keeping track of it on those other inserts, so it was fine. I can just be done with that one, I guess. I do need to do it for the month. Again, these are still Peanuts Planner Co. I have budget trackers versus budget overview in here. So there's those. And again, I don't have these filled out because it's private information. And I'm just going to kind of move everything over to my February setup. Um, so Peanuts Planner Co. This is just the finance routine. It's actually a fold out. So it's just kind of like a tracker for the entire year. I didn't start this yet. <laughs> I need to. I think I left it blank too though because I knew I was doing this video. Um, so now it goes into my health section. So this is really important information obviously if I'm out like at appointments. Obviously information, it's like shorthanded information but information that I would need out and about. So again I have my little side tab that I dare wide. It just says health on the side. This is just one of the freebies from Courtney Taylor Plans. I hope I'm saying her name right. But I'm sure you guys have seen this one too. It's the que sera sera. Whatever will be will be on a thick. I just printed it on vellum. Love it. And behind it, I just have some more of the scrapbook paper from Michaels. I just thought it was cute. It matched nicely for holidays. Obviously, gotta change that guy out, but it's cute. I actually hate how this looks, but it's some more of the marble transparent. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called. Transparent um, sticky notes. I'm literally gonna take all these sticky notes out because I don't, I feel like it's wasting them if I leave it on there because I'll forget they're there and they're cloth and paper. 
nice like I can't do that this is more information for like appointments this is gonna be like I don't really know why I put that there I just put it there because I found it <laughs> but I need to keep actually a sticky note here that I wouldn't mind writing on in case I'm on the phone quickly that I can just jot that down I don't want to like like messily I don't want to write it imperfectly to my actual inserts yet if I'm making an appointment it should be there I took out some of my inserts that I had already written down information because these are the peanuts planner co ones and it has like a lot of information kind of on these love these inserts but I do have those and I want to include information for the cats vet visits and stuff like that in here as well so that's gonna have to be sectioned off I think I still have to print those out I can't remember and then it goes into my prescription tracker and this is like for random prescriptions that I might have gotten because like I had gone to the dentist and stuff so I had like prescriptions that I need to pick up but that's separate from my actual medicine log I don't think I'm gonna keep track of like always taking it because I take vitamins and like allergy medication every day, but I want to keep track of like everything because you know a lot of times when you go to like new doctors or whatever, they're like, oh, you got to list out all of your medications and I can never remember what they are or the dosages. So I wanted to keep that in here. I have another one of these Foxy Fix um, dashboards. This one though has the secretarial pocket, like double-sided pocket on here. So kind of like it there. Again, I have cut slits so that I can move it around if I need to and I didn't decide on anything to put there yet. Um, I think I was keeping like if I get like appointment cards from doctor's offices or whatever I could just kind of check it in there until the appointment even though I would have the information on the insert as well sometimes I just like keeping everything together just in case these are the therapy notes inserts from peanuts planner co I love the way these are lined out or done <laughs> laid out as well or like actual therapy but I mean you can kind of work it for any appointment I love how it has like the therapist or like the doctor's name and like any questions you might have and their responses things to check out that you might have like talked about I just like how they're done just to kind of separate we're still in the health section so some more of that cricket acetate and I just have another cloth and paper I'm gonna change over I'm not using silver for next probably like the next two months so I'm just gonna take all of these sticky notes <laughs> and then it goes into my tracker for January clearly I did a great job tracking in January love that for me um and I just labeled it tracker just because this is something that I should have been doing literally every day so I wanted to be able to turn to it pretty quick this I actually don't think I need in this section I just like my little paper clip that's a house <laughs> it's kind of dumb I don't know I want to find something to do with that <laughs> but it's not gonna be home tasks and cleaning, but it's just another one of the pullout. I already have that in my work section as well. It's the same exact layout overview from Pants Planner Co. And then I have the mood log, which I actually wanted to use as a mood log, but I think I have mood log on my other tracker, so technically I don't need this here, but I guess I thought that was a good idea. But I think too, it would have needed to be paper clipped together so that it could go straight from there into my workouts. So this is the menu and workouts um, insert from Peanuts Planner Co. You guys have seen this plenty of times now um, that I DIY'd from different stickers from Michael's collab sticker books. I love this thing so much. It's double-sided and I just use it as a little bookmark for my workouts but if you saw on my January <laughs> calendar month at a glance I was in a car accident so <laughs> no workouts have been happening <laughs> but I need to get back on it. Going to physical therapy all that goodness so again I just got these because I did need to be working out and I'm gonna get back into working out so I like that inserts the weight training just to kind of keep track of everything that I'm doing and then it goes into my list section I wanted this to kind of be not super detailed list and I actually don't even know if I need to keep this section in here because obviously I, it, there's nothing in this section and I did mention it in a different video I want to do a separate planner for like all of my lists because I'm a list person like I'm the craziest list person ever but so it's just the acetate divider some more of that super pretty glitter paper from Michaels and I love this because you can't feel the glitter it's smooth paper but it's so pretty some more happy planner stickers on the back just so that it wasn't plain on the back what insert is this this is actually the headache log from peanuts planner co i don't know so i just have a couple different versions of things that i might have wanted to use as lists um this is the mood log again back here oh uh, looks like we have another one of the foxy fix dashboards that i cut slits into with the secretarial pockets i thought that was a good idea i think i just had that back here in case i wanted to use it somewhere and then this is my extra section i just don't really like putting miscellaneous on a tab because it's just such a long word and I don't like putting just M-I-S-C period on. I just personally don't like how that looks. So I just keep extra and it's just like random things. But another one of my DIY acetate dividers. Some more scrapbook paper from Michaels. But I just like how this looks right there too. And I mean it could have looked better 
had I had something on the other side, but I'll probably keep this in here actually since it's still kind of wintry, but I hate this side, but whatever. These are just my Peanuts Planner Co. insert um, trackers just so that I don't repurchase the same inserts because I did do that one time and it, it's not fun. <laughs> um, so these are the ones that I have purchased versus I need to write in here um, my wish list so I can check them off. I always do that for every size planner that I have. Just some random lists, um, Peanuts Planner Co. that I think was freebies from her Facebook group, I'm pretty sure. And then my Foxy Fix Cage Lifter, which I love. I had gotten these, all this Foxy Fix stuff in those bundles that I showed in those hauls. And I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure they took them off the website now. I don't honestly know what's going on with that. <laughs> and then I only have a few things back here in my pocket. This little thing I love. It fits so, so perfectly. So some more of the... Oh no, this pocket's kind of coming apart. Oh no, I literally only just noticed that, that the pocket's kind of coming undone in there. It's not good. In here, I just keep one of these Foxy Fix. It's another one of those clear dashboards. I can just kind of move this a little bit, but it's the clear dashboards. It's actually for TN. It's for, I think, the micro TN size, but it fits these little dot stickers perfectly that I had gotten from Amazon, those little rolls. And if you can see, they're just the top loading. So like I said, it's the micro TN, so technically it should be folded over, but it actually fits perfectly in the back pocket of the A6. And it's kind of funny because like these are like sewn right there to be like a double pocket like that, like double sections. And then it's one large back pocket. But since these are divided in the middle too, it kind of matches up and it just fits perfectly in there. It keeps these little dot stickers protected so that they're not getting all messed up, thrown around and wasted so that I can just kind of put these in and out of there, which I'm going to leave these out actually, but I love that. It's again, it's the Foxy Fix. If you have like micro TN dashboards, it should fit perfectly, at least in the print pressions a6 size. I love it. But it fits your little like sticker sheets perfectly. I think it's such a cute idea. And you can keep it sectioned off in there. Super cute. This planner, lastly, has this little zip pocket that I love. And I keep my little password thing in here. I've shown this in just about every planner setup that I DIY'd this little pocket. And I just keep my passwords on paper in here. And obviously it's on the other side so you guys can't see. So that is everything for my A6 setup in my print pression and my Seamus. This video was a little bit long, but I just really wanted to share with you guys my entire setup. I guess I could, can leave it sitting like right here. But I just wanted to share with you guys my entire setup, and I just was really proud of this, even though I took out some of the pages that I had filled out. Sorry, this glare is going to drive me insane. Even though I took out some of the pages that were filled out, I just wanted to document. This was my first setup ever in an A6, and I loved it. Love A6 now. I'm obsessed with it, and I cannot wait now. I'm literally going to film my video changing everything over right now so that's gonna be the next video with my planner stuff I think <laughs> I'm trying to get these out quickly for you guys though since I know I am pretty far behind <laughs> with getting everything switched over and like the month I know I'm the worst let me know if you guys have any of these items that I showed or let me know if there's anything that I should be on the lookout for or any freebies or any inserts that I should try out especially for my a6 size let me know in the comments below I love hearing from you guys give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy my planner videos and want to see some more flip throughs and if you're excited to see my February planner setup and March setup going on throughout the next months throughout the year. Uh, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't yet and hit the bell notification so YouTube can let you know when I post new videos. I'm trying to keep them rolling out for you guys. Muchísimas gracias for watching este video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.